Ciao everyone and welcome back to a new video but uh, today this video will be a little bit because my boyfriend is allowed to speak today majority of you seems to enjoy it if you can say enjoy let's say that you're interested in it and so today I would like to tell you a super famous true crime story in Italy and it's the story of Pietro Maso Pietro Maso and it's it's really it's a really famous story it the story takes place in the early 90s around 1991 or 92 I want to be super specific and it's the story about uh, this uh, uh, this guy he was 19 years old called Pietro who lived in the region of Veneto And um, he, when I was a little child, was really sick, uh, like not with, um, he didn't have like a specific illness, but he had always the flu and he had to stay home while his friends go playing you know and um, so when he grew, grew old grew old and was able finally to go outside and have some friends he wanted to to find a way to be popular he really enjoyed the when people um, watched him or in general talked about him and he was obsessed by money and he was really obsessed um, about uh, American Vice American about Don Miami Johnson. Vice, yes, like about, Don Johnson. about Don Johnson, which is the main character of the TV series Miami Vice. So he was upset with money and luxury. And his family was not rich, but um, they had a lot of um, fields like they work there in the fields and 
and uh, so they um, they have money but Pietro didn't want to work in the family business he just wanted to have money to go to the disco and you know go dancing and drink and so he was um, he found that he didn't want to study either so he found a job in the supermarket and he found a way to steal money but every time that he uh, steals this money he just go to the bar and to the disco and spend all the money so it's an idiot Pietro Maso as you can tell and he's got these um, three friends who are idiots like him and sees him like and they see him like an, an idol like um, a god just because he, he goes to the bar and to the discos and pretend to be pretends to be popular yes pretends to be popular and behave like a don a Johnson star. yeah he wants to look like this uh, guy Miami Vice and since we are talking about a little 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 village in this town in uh, uh, in Veneto it's not like um, it's not a big city so the, f the fact that he acts a little bit um, strange and the fact that he acts like he he has the money and the power these three little idiots thinks that he's like a god but uh, yes but uh, he actually an idiot but unfortunately uh, idiots are dangerous and so he realized at 19 years old that he needed more money to live the life that he wanted so just to go around and drink and dance at the discos and spend money without any sense so he wants uh, to get his uh, heredi hereditary yeah. want to get the money from the family yeah. I don't know the um, I don't remember the right word. You know when your family dies and you get you the money the exactly. And so he plot uh, he plotted to kill um, his parents, and then he plotted to he wanted to kill, of course, his two sisters. And then he wanted to kill the three friends that will help him to do these things. And this is a really stupid plan because I think that somebody will realize that you are the killer if suddenly everyone around you start to die. So the plan, the initial plan he talked uh, with uh, these three friends of him and he convinced them to kill um, his parents promising them some money some little money though so um, like one of his friends of his friend just uh, decided to agree to kill Pietro's parents um, just for like um, a DJ console so it was like cheap. I said yes it was really cheap so it's funny it's not funny because uh, two people will die but it's funny because they the first time they want to um, there are several attempts to kill like Pietro's um, parents but one of them they wanted to 
to find a killer to do the job for them so they go to one of the biggest uh, city in Veneto they go there just to try to find a killer and of course they arrive to the city and they don't know what to do because you just cannot go around asking sorry do you know a killer and so they just can't return back home because it was a stupid idea and then Pietro also tried to put gas in his home and to blow every everyone like creating a bomb yeah an explosion but he fails to do that as well and the psychologist therapist thinks that the reason is that he didn't want to do that so he, he didn't want to he found a way to fail yeah he found a way to fail every time but in the end uh, he didn't want to look bad in front of his friends because he wanted to be the tough one and also the friends didn't want to help him but they didn't want to look bad in front of Pietro because uh, they wanted his they wanted his approval and so unfortunately uh, one day they decided to just act and they they went to to Pietro's uh, house and put on uh, some masks on their faces and um, turn off the lights of the house and waited from Pietro's parents to come home and when they arrived the four of them so Pietro and his friends brutally killed the parents one died with a frying pan yes yes they used like frying pans and their shoes so I di- I don't want to share with you the details because they're quite Gory. gruesome yes but yeah that was terrible and the most terrible things thing I think is that after they killed these two poor people they needed to create an alibi for themselves so they went to um, to a disco to a club and they went dancing after brutally killing these people because they wanted to create an alibi so they stayed in this club until like six in the morning and then Pietro had to go home and starting his show so he pretended to find his parents dead in the kitchen so the neighbors called the police and they started to investigate but it was super clear at the beginning from the beginning that something was wrong things didn't add up because he knew yes where the bodies were yes because he told the police that he have seen the legs feet, yeah. yes the feet and so he could uh, understand something when w- was happened something happened and go calling the neighbors but from the point where Pietro says that he I've seen the the feet, he couldn't have seen them, so it was really, really strange, is um, what he has to say. And also they found that he had, um, come la falsificato, 
cleared, up. made up, they, he si- signed a check with the, the sign of his mother and this is really stupid, they, find, they found the book with all the tryouts of the of the signature of the mother because he tried several times before signing the actual check so they realized that he stole he, he has stolen the money from the parents and so they uh, the police asked him to come to the the police Apartment. station, yes, and also his friends were there because the police suspected them to to be like a part of this as well, and they were so stupid that they talked between each other while the camera was filming them. And they said, like, they know that we have done this, uh, they know that we are the killers. So, yeah, they arrested them. Yeah, they arrested them. And Pietro, uh, one of their friends, were uh, a minor. So um, we don't know what happened to him. But I think that in Italy as well as in America, a minor has different uh, rules, procedures, so we don't know a lot about that. But Pietro and the other two friends, of course, went to prison. And during the trial, Pietro was super uh, cold and came to the um, to the trial all dressed up like this guy from Miami Vice and yeah it was obvious obvious that he had some problem and after a lot of years in prison he finally came out and he started to do cocaine and do some he started to do some crazy things again and so they put it they put him back again in jail so yeah he was a super idiot that killed his parents in a really brutal way and for no reason at all because the money that they wanted to get um wasn't so much that's not a reason you know even if they were much but it was a stupid um, reason and the plan was stupid but yeah the story is really really famous in Italy and if you're interested in it there are a lot of podcast who talks about it and you can find I think a lot of line because I told you about it um, just I did a summary of it but there are some interesting theories and psychologically psychological things to say about Pietro's character and oh, yeah, they wrote a book about him, and that's it. Uh, your comment, you can comment. It's a pretty fucked up story. They are going to delete the video. They will monetize me if you mm-hmm. say you swear. Yeah, I think I think that they committed too much to it, so they felt like they had to do it because they didn't want to be called uh, liars especially Pietro so he had a a character to his own character to support 
Yeah, it so... was like he went to the pub, to the, the, the club, yeah. and he smoked the money that he got. Like uh, he lighted up the cigarettes with the money. Uh, uh, yeah, he lighted up the cigarettes with the money. He was that kind of guy, but he didn't have money. No, it was a facade. Yes. And um, I think it's it's possible that what he suffered when he was a little boy uh, mattered. It was important about what he became in the future, but it's not enough to create like a monster like this. It was also, um, I know that those time, the early 90s in Veneto, was uh, were years of great richness there were a lot of like factories and stuff so there was this cult of money so everybody wanted to be rich and people started to know about america and there were all these uh, tv series in italy about america and so a lot of people wanted to live that life, you know, not just working in the fields with like trees and whatever, with your back. And like they didn't want to work, they just wanted to have money and go to Las Vegas and stuff like that. So I think there are a lot of factors that um that made pietro what he was and he was also stupid really because they made a qi IQ, IQ. iq test to him and it was very low so the fact that he was stupid that he wanted money that he needed his their popularity uh, his plans weren't smart enough no he thought he was smart, but actually he, he, he wasn't. still thinks he's really smart because if you see his interviews. yeah the interviews, it almost feels like he's so proud of it. It says I was the only one in the city that could have like the balls to kill his parents. Like what the fuck? What the f? And yes, this is was um different video and so if you don't want to listen to this crime story I will put this video without the audio just after um, just right after the goodbyes so you can enjoy the rest of the video without this creepy story if you want. So bye bye. Bye. Bye bye bye. Good night.